Alright, first and foremost, I want to say Kala Lol, you have a Basham Yaoshai, Basham Rakar Kodash, you have honors to the elders and apostles of Great Midstone. Salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this work in as truth and sincerity. Zin, the believers, Zin, the help, Zin, all the members that are pushing this work in as truth and sincerity. Shalom. Right? I'm the brother Yahaya from the James Kings in Jamaica camp, and this is just a quick lesson. I'm going to kick it off with the book of Philippians 1 verse 15. The scripture says, Some indeed preach Yahweh even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Yahweh of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. Right? So we are set for the defense of the gospel. Zin. The prophets of the Heavenly Father are set for the defense of the gospel. Therefore, when we see um, speeches of error being made in relation to the scriptures, it's need be, it's very needful for us to basically make a, 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 a speedy correction of those errors. Zin, so that it does not lead us trade hopefully elect, which is which the scripture tells you it's very impossible to basically deceive the elect of the Heavenly Father. Zin, and that is why, because the Heavenly Father has put men in place to basically made a speedy correction of errors that are being promoted within within the truth. Zin, right? So, right now we have these gentlemen, right, from IUIC, Zin, basically promoting that you can have sex on the Sabbath day stating that it is lawful for you to have sex on the Sabbath day, which is a complete error as it relates to the scriptures. Now let's let them have their peace and hear what they are saying and then we'll get to the scriptures and make the correct assessment of the matter. Alright? <laughs> he didn't even finish reading the, the precept, man. Zini just cut it right there. That's all he wanted right there. So therefore, he doesn't want the fullness of the of the word. Zini just wants a piece to support his own opinion. Well, so, some of these other Israelite camps out there on the planet, right? They do teach that they are the Israelites. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to keep the commandments of God. But also, they teach you can't have sex on the Sabbath day based on this scripture. On this scripture right here, I was like, man, what what about this scripture says you can't have sex on the Sabbath? Like, I don't understand. What about this is making reference to intercourse? Read that scripture one more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 13. Uh -huh. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure... Doing thy pleasure, when you say thy pleasure, I myself personally enjoy ice cream. 
So last night, as I was reading and finishing up the book of Jeremiah, I finished it last night, right? As I finished the book of Jeremiah, I said, you know what? I'm going to give me some Ben and Jerry's half-baked out the refrigerator and enjoy my victory of completing Jeremiah. Yay me. That's a long book. I finished it. Um, so that was pleasurable to me. Even finishing the book of Jeremiah is wonderful. Like, I was happy to do it. Like, it's, it was, yeah, I learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it was pleasurable. So, is that saying I can't do that? No, come on, let's look up the word pleasure. Can I get the definition of pleasure? Being simple, man. The definition of the word pleasure. Give me some Webster's. This is the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Pleasure. Uh -huh. Desire. Inclination. Okay, so that's one definition. Desire, inclination. Go ahead. Definition two. A state of gratification. A state of gratification. Go, oh, keep going. Scroll on down. Three, sensual gratification. Can I have sensual gratification? Go ahead. Frivolous amusement. Mm, what'd that say? Frivolous amusement. Frivolous amusement. Okay. Go ahead. Number four, a source of delight or joy. A source of delight or joy. So as we look at this word, there are variations of the definition of this word pleasure. We have... Uh, what is that? A state of gratification that we have frivolous, frivolous amusement. We have frivolous amusement. All right, give me Baruch 4 and 1, please. And put... So basically, that's your justification that you cannot, that you can have sex on the Sabbath, you see? So, let's get into the precept to make a speedy rectification of what they have done there. Now, Let's get the laws first. So, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 9. See, I'm start at verse 8. So, like, say, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, when you look up the word holy, see, go back to the Hebrew, Kodash, say, to consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate, dedicate, right very important words here be hallowed be holy sanctified be separate right be separate lovely so remember the sabbath day to keep it holy six days shall thou labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord thy god in it Thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy men servant, thee, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thee, within thy gates. So if it's possible, Zin, you basically put off work for the, for that day. That is how the scriptures um I said it. Zimi, but we know that we're living in a time when when we, we can't really keep that law to the best of our ability. Zin, some of us have to work. So therefore, we basically, basically put it um, as a part of a mindset. You know? So we hollow it and basically in the mind, Zin, you, sanctify, you sanctify that day and basically meditate upon the Lord. Zin, how can you meditate upon the Lord when you're having sex? Zin, that's just a simple example. Man. Zin, me? So you say, for in, in six days... The Lord made heaven and heard the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath and hallowed it. Zin, the word hallowed goes back to the same word, Zin, to consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate. You understand? Now, it says the same thing in the book of um, Exodus, Exodus 30, 31. Verse 14. Is it me? It say ye shall keep the Sabbath day. The Sabbath therefore for it is holy unto you. It's a separated day. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Now if anyone defileth it, it shall surely be put to death. Let's look up that word defile right there. Zin to profane, pollute, desecrate. Zin 
to profane oneself, defile oneself, pollute oneself, ritually, sexually, right? Sexually, ooh, mm, I wasn't even looking for this. <laughs> you see the most I reveal things? Zin, to be polluted, defiled, right? Shall surely be put to death, right? Now, can one defile themselves on the Sabbath day by having sex? Let's see. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 16. And if any man's seed of population go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water and be unclean until the evening. And every garment and every skin whereon is the seed of copulation shall be washed with water and be unclean until the evening. And in and mm, the woman also with whom man shall lie with seed, with seed of copulation, they shall both bathe themselves in water and be unclean until the evening. Till the evening. Now let's look up that word unclean. Zin, be unclean. Zin, become unclean, become impure. Sexually. Zin, to defile oneself, be defiled. Sexually. You understand? So if you have sex on the Sabbath, you're making yourself unclean. Zin, unconsecrated. You're not dedicating the day unto the Lord, yo. Zin, and that is what it was saying in the book of Isaiah 58 verse 13. You understand? Because what he was doing, he was not reading it in the sense of all English. Zin, and sex is a pleasure, man. Zin, sex is a pleasurable thing. But it's not a pleasure that is to delight in the Lord. There's a difference. You understand? So when you read some of the other translations, Zin, it says, like um, the NLT, it says, Keep the Sabbath day holy. Don't pursue your own interests on that day, but enjoy the Sabbath and speak of it with delight as the Lord's holy day. Honor the Sabbath in everything you do on that day and don't follow your own desires or talk idly. Zin. So that is what it's basically saying. He said, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, zin, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. Zimmy. That is what it's saying, man. It's saying that you're not supposed to turn and do your own pleasures on that day, but to delight in the Heavenly Father and honor Him, Zin, with your words, Zin, and with your basically, your, your thoughts, and your deeds, yo. Dedicate that day unto Him. And don't defile yourself by going after your own pleasures, yo. And sex is a pleasure. Zin, sex is a pleasure of the flesh. You understand? And when you have sex... Zin, you basically become unclean. That's why you're supposed to, scripture says, you're supposed to wash yourself. You understand? So when you wash yourself, you're, you're going to be unclean until the evening. Therefore, you're defiling yourself on the Sabbath. Zin, and the scripture already tell you that, that also do it, basically, um, it say, and everyone that defile it, it shall surely be put to death. You defile the Sabbath by doing work. You understand? You can defile the Sabbath by basically doing unlawful religious practice, which I will, that that is also basically um, against the laws of the Heavenly Father anyways. You see? So therefore, don't do anything unlawful on the Sabbath. It's as simple as that. You see me? So what they are saying about uh, you can have sex on the Sabbath, that's complete madness. You see me? And you can see that it's clearly justified in the scriptures that you cannot have sex on the Sabbath, man. It is unlawful according to the scriptures. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. You understand? With that, I just want to say, Kalalal, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Kodash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Grimmel Stone, and salutations to all the brothers that's pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. Shalom.